Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Keila from Keila Publishing bringing to you guys this week's video. I'm so excited and pumped that I have so many people that enjoy my content guys. Thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel. It means a lot to me. If you guys are new, welcome to my channel. Welcome to the KP family. Here is where we will be doing all things KDP publishing from reports to interior designs to cover designs. We have it all. The only thing I will not be doing on KDP is giving out niche niches for the month and for the quarters because honestly I don't find that and you create a file let me show you guys exactly how to get in there so you guys have no complications so you come on canva.com you create your account and you press create a design you go on custom size and then you set your size you make sure and set this from pixels to inches I always get that messed up so you press 6 by 9 inches this is for a basic um, notebook composition book these books tend to be not too big not too small you know perfect size for when you're making books now you can choose to do your own bleed or no bleed but normally when I make my composition books I make them with bleed so to make them with bleed you're just extending the elements and the text is directly to the end of the page so in the entire book will be lines it will not have a big white space or a big white gap all right now I like to use margins also for most part but it's not necessary since we are doing bleed when we are not doing bleed margin is very important okay so you can either get your first line by pressing L see like in your page I'm pressing L and you'll get the line or you can come to elements and you just get the basic line right here now you stretch your line to as close to and as possible you make sure that while you are doing this you're not like shifting it so that it's not level you make sure it's as horizontal as possible right and then you select it and you just drag it up to where you want you can zoom in so you can see it better yeah so you can see the thickness now to change the thickness of this line because this is a bit dark you can actually just come here by line width and you can change it to two points so it will be if you can see it get thinner if you like it at one you can do that but I normally stick at two right and you can also change the color to a gray because lines on pages are not really black black now if you want to leave yours black you can leave it black it's entirely up to you it's your book next we are going to duplicate this line and line it up about an inch under each other or as wide as you want remember this is your book and you can personalize it as much as you want but you still want to make it be usable for a person okay so you can go straight down right and then you can just take one of these lines duplicate it and turn it till it reach 90 degrees right and then you just drag it straight down to the end of the page and you line it up in the corner here now if you want more space on top here for like if they have to write the date or whatever you can do that and voila that is a basic interior for um, composition books college rule and you're just going to name it here so you can always have your stuff so you can always have your stuff organized and you're gonna download it as PDF once you have gotten all your pages now as for pages you can do a, up to I think you can do a lot but at average we all we normally do like 200 oh I can't speak today okay so we do 200 pages for these types of blank notebook we do 200 pages so let me show you a shortcut and to get in and done let's say you did your first page you're happy with it you're good with it all you have to do now is just press ctrl D and it will duplicate 
and you do that about until it fills up and then you press shift and you select the first page and all will highlight all six and then you just press ctrl d ctrl d ctrl d ctrl d until it reaches a hundred now canva only allows you to have 100 um pages or you'll get this notification saying you cannot duplicate because you have reached your 100 page capacity yeah they can be a bit annoying with that so you just duplicate until you reach 100 and then i'll show you what to do next you download it as a pdf standard and then you come over here and you go to a software guys do not study my bookmarks i bookmark a lot of stuff i am in a lot of stuff and you go to ilovepdf.com i'll leave the link in the description and you will reach to this page here and you're going to press merge pdf i hope that this video is not going to be long i really don't want to make this video long all right so then you're just going to drag it and drop it and drag it and drop it Right, then you just merge this document together and instead of 100 pages you will have 200 now a slight tip for you while that is downloading if you guys want to personalize your notebook pages more make it a little more personal or cute you know you can't just do it this book belongs to page so to do that this book belongs to page you just delete all of the lines that you have there previously and you press text and you press and you press this book you type this book belongs to right and you just put a colon there and you change the font now if you want your book to look very girly i am very very girly i will not even deny it you will just like choose a cute font or a font that you find just looks super cute you change up the the way that you want it to align if you like it like this or if you want it to be more together then you pull it like this and you can probably put the two underneath bless me and then you just small in the front you try to align it the best you can All right press line now you don't want to get too much to the edge with doing this because you don't want to want it to get cut off or canva telling you that you can't do it because your text is outside the margin those types of things so what you can do is you can press show margin you see my s and my t is touching the line you just smallen it now this will not actually make your print too small in the book when someone has the book in front of them this is how it would look for them let me see if we could load up for you guys okay so this is how it will look for them it will not look um small so you can choose to leave your line like this or you can be like me and make your line dotted just because i find that that's a bit more fancy you can put one line you can put two line you can choose if you want to put a little graphic element but you try not to be too much because this is just a, a college ruled notebook but you can personalize this and make this your own you know and then that's it there you have your this book belongs to page and then they just have the pages to write on now if you're doing a this book belongs to page my advice to you is make the page right after that one plain blank okay it just looks better and more professional in a book so now let's go and check on our merged pages this is the pages that are merged with all the this book belongs to and this is how your interior looks i mean this is pretty nice pretty sleek look at this interior here and look at the one we just made it's very nice and you can see here 200 pages that would be saved to your files on your computer and you're good to go now the next part here we are going i'm going to show you how to make a more fancy interior more for like journals and plain notebooks those interiors would be perfect for that's where you can let 
your creativity run a little wild because it's not actually a school book even though I, I don't know if it's a problem to have those kind of patterns on your page for a normal school book but better safe than sorry right so now if we're doing journal we're doing the same exact step except with the horizontal line or the 90 degrees line we are just going to press duplicate and put the line right about there and we're going to shorten it and we're going to make it fancy because why not and then we're going to put text and date now this is just a section for your customers to just write what date it is this is very standard for like journals and stuff if you can't see just zoom in yeah it's very standard for journals and since we have the outside fancy we'll do the inside a bit fancy too so you just fix your line let your line be as short or as long as you want this looks a little crooked right make sure that when you are aligning it it's on zero right then you're gonna duplicate that now this is optional you can just leave your line just so and you're gonna put it at a little degrees angle and you can put it here this is just so that when the person is writing the date they have a section for month year and day that's just something that i like to do okay so that's that next we are going to add we are going to take off some of these lines here because i don't like my journals to have lines all the way down like that now with canva you can either slide stuff off or you can leave it with my journals i like to give my customers an area where they can sign their name you know like their diary today so 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 happen you know some people don't actually go for diary diary books they go for journals but they still appreciate being able to do the same thing so here's just a little personalization and because we are doing pineapples today we are going to go on pineapple outline okay so we got some pineapple outlines here now we're just going to go through them and see what we like right this is cute it's cute we're just looking for cute things you look for cute things. i'm gonna if i can change the color of this yes i can so i like this one but it's blue so i'm just gonna change the color to black right and you can just put it in the corner here of your page or you can put it in the center for most parts if i'm doing it like this i just put it in the center i position it all the way to the back and then i carry down the transparency so that they don't humbug anything on the page right that's one way that i do this let me show you guys on the full screen this is one way that i do this simple sweet cute the other way that i do this is by let me just see if i can get that pineapple back out this is like the hardest part when i'm trying to show something but already did something if you know what i mean okay so i'm clicking my pineapple i'm bringing it back to the front and i'm moving my lines back where they were right so we're going to go on elements again and this time we're going to choose shapes and we're going to choose a blank square okay so you're going to put the square somewhere around here on your page you can extend this line if you don't want them to have a place to sign that is all up to your personal preference then i'm going to make my pineapple come to the front change the transparency to 100 percent carrying it down lovely and i'm going to change the color of my square to white and make it fit the way i want it to right and that's it you just make this however you guys like you play around with it see what works what don't works at the end of the day you just need to keep in mind is this something i would buy for my mom my sister my friend you know is this something that i find cute and that's all 
you just make sure that what you are putting out is valuable all right so that's the interior now let's go and do the cover we are going to make a cover like this since our team is pineapple i made this today it is so cute and most people would like if they show a cover like this on youtube they will not put it on their kdp account for some reason i would still be uploading because it's so cute and i love it so let me show you guys real quick how to make the cover designs now i might break up this video into two because it may be too long but let's see how it goes so first off to make the cover design you go to kdp cover calculator i will leave the link in the description you are going to click you would see a page like this come up you are going to click for binding type you're going to choose either paperback or hardcover depending on what you're doing interior you're going to make sure that is black and white paper color white page turn left to right you make sure that your page turn is always on left to right inches six by nine is what we are doing but these are all the different inches that um, trim sizes that KDP offer you click the one that you are doing and you click your 200 pages you press calculate dimensions now this would give you the exact um, size that you would need for width and height on your page please follow this because you would end up getting a lot of error messages you can also do, um, download the template because I'll show you guys how to use the templates after you finish download the template you are just going to unbox it right and you just copy this and you paste it into here where you see create dimension you paste it into there all right so let's get started the very first thing we're going to do is go to uploads and then click the template that i just told you guys to download to your computer carry it up to uh, it's close to the edge that you could you might need to use little arrows to the bottom of your keyboard to get it there good all right lovely i think i got that there all right, so the next thing you're just using this as a guideline. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna make it transparent because you don't wanna make it, you don't wanna make it too dark, you're gonna make it transparent. If you make it too dark, you won't be able to do your designs on it, all right? The next thing you're going to do is go on elements again and remember that square we used earlier on. We're gonna use that again. And you're just going to line that up there. Line it up. lovely right perfect now you can remove it at this point or you can leave it that's entirely up to you i normally just move it right now the next thing we are going to do is type up pineapple now we are going to get a choose a pineapple that we like something that you know you find look cute because, I mean, if you're a girl like me, cute, cute just gets you all the time. Alright, but I think I have one saved for the sake of this video. Instead of having to look for this for hours, because it did take me a while to find it. The first time I did this tutorial for you guys, it took me a while to find it. Uh, Alright, so let me just go in my my start and see if i had it there i think i did i'm not too sure okay so this is it now this pineapple was this pineapple i just kind of changed it and made it my own which i would um advise you guys to do fix things and make it your own because if you don't and you don't find a unique style for yourself it wouldn't make any sense because then there will be a lot of duplicate content out there. Amazon will get angry. Amazon will block you, take away your account. And once Amazon bans you, bans your account, you're not allowed to have another one. So to prevent all of that, try to be as unique as possible when coming to KDP. 
so this is what I do I find what I want to work with and I just work with it you know I don't scatter all my information all over the place I kind of get everything together at once and then I just rearrange them duplicate them to fit what I want okay so this is the pineapple that I use for the hands and legs I liked the hands and legs I found it was cute but I didn't like the face and I liked this pineapple face a bit so what I did was I put this pineapple in front of that one and then I grouped them together and then I took these cute eyes because I loved these eyes and I just placed them in front of the eyes that that pineapple had I grouped that I tilt the image to the side right and I just aligned it sized it and align it to where I saw fit I duplicated it right and then I flipped it now when you are flipping these things when you group them only one layer flip but I just wanted the face to flip so it didn't really matter to me but if you if you um, are a perfectionist you can do with it as you please it's yours you know it's your account it's your your designs you make your designs you you know all right now I position that one to the back so that it can be under my border because I did not want it on top of my border so to get it I kind of put half of that there and I biggened it yeah I think that was the size I'm not too sure yeah I think that was the size all right i think that was it let me see all right close enough anyway with these with these things guys you just you just do your own thing if you find something's off you try something new you try something different nothing is set in stone you might start a design with one idea and at the end of it all you have a total different idea that's okay don't frustrate yourself because what you might find doesn't look good or looks tacky, someone else just loves. So don't fret up yourself about it. Now this section right here is where your buyer code that KDP will be giving you if you're not buying one will be right here. So you just want to press that as the background because I don't want my pineapple foot to be there. Yeah. Right, and you just lock that in place so it don't harass you, it don't bother you. Oh, I think I'm a bit of a perfectionist because I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get it exactly how I had it the last time. Okay, get them focus. All right, so next we have our pineapples. You can make this as big or as small as you want. I like it this size, and I just duplicate it, put it in place, duplicate it, duplicate it. And now with Canva, once you duplicate something and line it up, they kind of know where you want the others to go or they guess. All right. So now even though the barcode is going here, you are going to still put your designs here. But they, um, just be in mind that they are going to cut it off because the barcode will be blocking it. Right? So that's that. That's not a big deal. It's okay. Next, I'm just putting my pineapples, interfacing it on top here so that it's my little style. I let my pineapples come to on top here so that they can look like... um. Like they are actually coming through the design it's not looking like there's a big gap or a big space I find something is looking a bit off I just take it off and I just mix and match how much do I have in a row down here I have like five all right so we have four here we just shift that around a bit shift that around perfect number five will go right between the line here all right Right, and then we have five on top, five on top, five to the bottom, so we have three. Shift you around a little bit, you look a bit off. Shift you, you go there, shift you, shift you around a bit. Right, and then we have you here on the line. You looking a bit off, lovely. So now, when you do that with your designs, you just copy them hold on let me just lock this here so you don't harass me lock you here when you lock it when you try to group other stuff it will not be caught in your group if you do not lock it you will be like me and have a lot of issues trying to 
duplicate stuff it will frustrate you so you just hold it you group it don't forget to group it or that will happen what just happened to me then you click it and you duplicate it and you just move it up right right and now you ungroup them ungroup ungroup you select the ones that are on the thing you press shift and you select them select 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 you position them to the back all right i think i might need to put some of them in the right that's good there you select the pineapples to fill in the space you duplicate it set it a little bit to the side and you just fill the space Sizz. all right and now next you're going to change the color of the page. So you want to change the color of the page to a lighter version of the pineapple. To do that, you just select a color. You select a color, let's say yellow. You come on the color wheel and you just drag it down to the lighter version, until the lighter side, until you get that color. Now this band, I wanted this band to be a bright yellow. Because it just, it just works. And then voila. It's not exactly the same but it's pretty much close now for this box to the bottom here that was white we are going to unlock him and we are going to change him to the color that we choose so that it blends in perfect right now to make this over here what we are going to do is go to shapes I'm trying to move quickly now because I think this video is very long by now I know some of you guys would enjoy it but some some wouldn't but that's okay you're going to click this one because it looks like it has a little curve. And you can make a rectangle with it by pulling to the side. Fixing the shape however you please to suit you. Alright, and then you're going to make this box white. And then you're going to get a frame. The fr this frame here that is rounded, the round square border, you're going to get this frame. And you're going to just carry down a little bit so to lessen the thickness of it. And then you're gonna stretch it and then you're gonna bring it down make sure it lines up good with your your rounded shape from before so it looks like this I used a plain rectangle down here but this curve one looks pretty nice next you're gonna press text and you're gonna do the same fancy thing that I showed you guys in the beginning we're gonna choose add a border because I find it looks better you're gonna press composition Uh, all right and then you're gonna change the font to a fancy font the name of that font is good vibes i just i just love it it's so fancy and cute and feminine and it just looks perfect all right a very stylish font right next you're going to go on on the same um, elements and you're going to choose one of these I chose the diamond last time let's do a, let's do a circle right and you're just gonna put that there and you're gonna make two of this this is just for the person to put what the subject is whether it's maths English dinosaur history whatever it may be and next you're gonna do another text bar but this time you're going to change the font to um, Alice. I like how Alice looks. And you're going to put college rule. Now this is only for if you're doing a composition notebook. If you're doing a normal journal or a normal notebook, instead of like doing that on those things on that, you're going to put um, notebook. In that place which I will show you guys an example of just now so you're just gonna do that college rule you can bold in this if you like you can small in the letters if you find it's it's a bit too big you just line that up there and you put how much pages the book have so this one is gonna have 200 pages and you just put that on the other side and then voila our book is done it looks so cute I would buy this book I would give this book away I would sell this book this is something that I like for myself so I know others would like it too all right so next if you want to do this like a notebook like I just said you would just let me just duplicate it and show you guys 
instead of all of this stuff here you can move all of these things even this you can leave this if you like like if you want to write the notebook right in here you can leave it let me show what that will look like and you bigger it as much as you want and you can just put that right there just make sure it's centered and that's it or you can even move this box from in the back then you can just leave that like the notebook or you can put it as journal this is if you're doing the fancy um pages and stuff the fancy interior you can do that add your stuff make your thing cute and you're good to go so guys that's the end of this video i know it might be long i'm not too sure how long now i'm speaking but i know that it will be great value for you guys so i say i'll just hop on and show you guys my entire process of making my composition books and my journal books in follow videos in my next few videos i will be showing you guys how to make kids educational books abc books all those types of stuff so you guys can stay tuned for that in my next video i think i'll be doing my income report for this month and if i can tell you guys already my income has already doubled from last month so stay tuned for that and don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more from this channel i love and i appreciate you guys and i'll see you guys later bye